Hey guys, what is going on today? Tomcat here, and we are back in spin tires for some off-roading in, well, a tractor. Now, I saw this mod pop up on the Steam Workshop, and I don't really know if there's- Oh my god, there are actual, um, like, upgrades for this, but mostly in the way of trailers and, uh, like, things like that. Not actually things you can really put on the tractor, but let's see. Um, trailer Kelber- Oh god! Carriage trailer, or well, the garage trailer, carriage trailer, utility trailer, wagon. Did I click on the way? Yeah, the wagon. Okay, these are. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Those are insane. Cart trailer, Scania. You know what? Real quick, I'm gonna see how this drives without. Oh dear god, it's loud. It is really, 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 really loud. I don't know how loud it is for you guys, but it's like super loud for me. Oh my god, that was loud. Alright, so, without any further ado, let's see how this tractor drives. Where's the driving position? Like, if we click on the... Does it actually, like... DUDE! Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, considering the fact that it is, um... That it is rear-wheel drive only, we probably won't be able to manage uh, a lot of the trails that we usually do um, in, in some of the other vehicles, but at the same time, you got to remember, this is a like an old-style farm tractor, so I'm not expecting rock crawler capabilities out of it by any means. But, but at the end of the day, it is really cool to be driving around in spin tires in a freaking farm tractor. Now, yes, it was made to pull trailers, but are you kidding me? You're stuck? What? All right, how's low to sound for this? You're still stuck. Like, dude, oh my god. All right. Let's, I mean, I guess let's pull out the winch cable. Because, like, I wasn't going anywhere. I was literally not going anywhere. That's kind of a, wow, that's kind of a first for me. Like, at least with, even, like, with a rear-wheel drive only vehicle, on this map, like, the map Evans Creek is great for testing because you, like, there's so many different areas that you can use to test different aspects of a vehicle, but if this thing got stuck right there, that's not a brilliant start. It's really not. I, it really is, is not exactly where, how you want to start a, um, a vehicle test. So, we're gonna go ahead and get right on past the fuel station and head up here to the trail that starts out kinda swampy. Um, but then builds up from there. Now, the driver's seat position is, like, hilarious, because you actually see the wheel turn, you see the, the wheels themselves turn, and you can see, like, the little grab handles on the sides. It's really, really, really cool. But, alright, let's drop into this mud pit over here. Oh, jeez. Oh! G well, that didn't work. <laughs> That's slightly embarrassing. Um, I'm, you know... You know, <laughs> you know, yeah, rescuing sounds lovely, but at the same time, you know, rescuing is never something you want to do, like, that, that you're just like, oh yeah, I want to rescue to the garage. I certainly never actually want to rescue to the garage, but you know, sometimes, you kind of have to, um, and that was definitely, definitely one of those instances, like, dude, we weren't going anywhere when we just literally straight up flipped over. So, I was really hoping that this would do more than just tractor things, but at the same time, I mean, it is realistic, so it's probably only going to be good for tractor things. But, like, what I was hoping is that it would be, like, yeah, I guess, like, a if you could almost have a sleeper off-roader, like, if that was even a thing. Let me try going up this way. Hey, it made it through there that time. Now, will it be able to make it up this hill, though? That's, like, that's a true test. Hey, I mean, it's very slowly moving along. Very slowly moving along. Come on! Come on! I mean, eh, She's really not doing too much. Yeah, it's very stuck. Those front wheels are barely, they're not even moving. So, time to pull the winch cable again. <laughs> it's like, it's like, damn it, I don't, I don't want to pull the winch cable out, but sometimes I have to. 
Wait, what are you stuck on? Or I should say, what are you stuck on now? It keeps getting stuck on different things. Just the front of the, like, the front of the thing. And not even working the steering really does anything for it. So, so, I'm gonna rescue it one more time, because clearly, not that good at actual off-roading. So, I'm gonna try its other purpose, and we'll see how that goes. Well, this could go either really well or really badly. Because we've got a huge, huge tank trailer behind us. It's got two trailer axles up front and three trailer axles out back. So a total of five trailer axles on this thing. And, I mean, it's chugging along. But at the same time, you can't help but think that it's probably struggling really, really hard. Uh-oh. Does the winch help us at all? Because we're gonna need it, like, damn. I, I just want to know if this can even pull it down the road. Actually, you know what? Not even down the road, much less around this coming corner. Because this corner is gonna be, is gonna be sketchy for the, it's gonna be sketchy for this because that trailer is so huge that I don't know how we're going to make it around this corner without either, like, putting it into the embankment or going into the ditch, one or the other. God, that's huge! Uh-oh, 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 the tractor's starting to dip. Yeah, the tractor... The tractor's a bit screwed at the moment, dude, I'm not going to lie. The tractor is very screwed right now. We're going to be pulling winch cable a lot of this. Grab you, put you over there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just trying to stay right at the edge of the ditch without going into it is like my ultimate goal at the moment. Just because of the fact that it's so close. We haven't gone in yet, but it's so close. It's right there. No, oh, hey, we did it. Dude, we did it. I'm su actually extremely surprised and impressed that we made it around that corner. Now, we've got a another slight issue here, though. This river. And using high range does not do any, any good at all. We've got the world's strongest freaking winch, though. Like, this winch is a maniac. This winch is an absolute animal maniac, whatever you want to freaking call the thing. Like, it will pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull some more, and then it'll pull some more. It never dies. It really does never die. Okay. Oh, are you serious? I did not mean to disconnect that at all. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. A little off course, but it's no big deal. Oh, do not flip, please. Do not flip, for the love of God, do not flip. Oh, God. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is! Oh, dear God. Okay, yeah. See the size of the vehicle to the size of the trailer ratio? Yeah, that's not a good ratio at all. We need a winch point. Ah, we need a winch point over there, but it doesn't look like there is one. Dude, no way. Okay. Wow, I'm surprised that it even was able to do that. Like, it was even able to slide down to the side like that. Oh, actually, yes, there is. And it might not be straight ahead by any means, but it should get us on the path we we're supposed to be going. Okay, see if we can get this ahead. Just a little, though. There she goes. Oh my god, there she goes. Okay. Now that the, the rear axle can get grip, I'm wondering if we can have, an, like, if we'll find or be able to find enough grip. Oh, to pull out of the, out of the river. The problem is, that's sliding backwards. 
that is sliding backwards and sliding backwards quick. I don't know, dude. Alright, get rid of the winch. Oh, for God's sake! Boy! Boy! Do the thing! There we go, there we go. Oh, it should be far enough out of it now. It should be. Please, yes. Woo, okay. So, for all intents and purposes, it, it, it has worked. Like, when you're driving along the road, this will pull it. Uh, dirt road or, like, a paved road, this will pull it. But if it gets any more intense than that, eh, I, I don't know. Because, again, it is a massive trailer for a not-so-massive tractor. So, I will say I am actually really, really proud of this little guy for, for doing, like, for being able to get this trailer past the fuel station. Like, I was, considering that first performance of it in the river, like, the first time we drove it without a trailer, dude, I was skeptical on whether or not this was going to even make it past the fuel station. So, this thing gets, like, gets total, like, top marks for me. Um, like, it's already won, but I, I think there's one more thing I want to try with it, and that's to see if we can get across the bridge. If we can get across the bridge, I'm gonna call it, like, a double win or whatever. Like, like, a secondary win on top of the win that we've already had. Oh, dude, it looks like she might- uh-oh. It looks like she might not. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, that's quite stuck. Will it back up? Yeah, it will. Okay. Maybe I can... Maybe I can recenter it? <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe with another vehicle, but I don't think so with this. But if you guys enjoyed this Spin Tires episode, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.